welcome to the video. My name is Primrose and today I'm doing a Harmony Nice inspired makeup look. As you can see, this is the finished thing. It was a really fun look to film. I'm really glad that I did it. Harmony is a massive inspiration to me as a YouTuber and as a witch. I think she's gorgeous. I really love everything that she tries to do for her community. Um, so if you've not heard of her, type it in, give her a search, give her a like, show her some support and possibly have the tiniest girl crush on her, but shh, shh. So this is a makeup look inspired by her everyday makeup. I recently started doing my makeup like this quite a bit um, and I got quite a lot, quite a lot of compliments saying so it's nice to see me without the foundation on so I thought well it might be nice to actually cut that out you know because sometimes you just don't feel like doing foundation and this look definitely shows. How many times have I complimented her or said wonderful in this video already? <laughs> okay so I really hope you guys enjoy and please do keep watching if you're interested in how to create this lovely, freckly, harmony witch. So the first thing that we're going to start with as part of this makeup look is obviously prepping the skin. My skin is like super bad right now. I see so many breakouts. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's coming to autumn or what, but it's not good. So I usually use the Mibia Daily Essentials Morning Cream. I always do this before a primer as well, just because I get super dry skin, especially like tea zone so that usually comes in a tub like a little tub about this big I recently actually ran out so I'm basically just gonna be using the night cream the reason I like the day one so much is like it's got a really thick consistency to it as well the night one not so much but I can really layer the day one up and I go with my eyelids as well I don't know if you're supposed to but is what we are going to do today. Super! Second thing that we're going to do to prime the skin is to use an actual primer this time. <laughs> Please excuse how dirty mine is, but it is the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer TM. I always buy this one. It's so good, so affordable. I love this product. I love it. So literally just going to go ahead. Okay, so the step that I like to do next is go in with tape tape concealer. Um, it's in the colour Fair, um, obviously because I'm a pale little bean. This is an insanely good concealer. Everybody says it, everybody loves it, and if you can afford to splurge on a decent concealer, this is the way forward. What we're going to do is we are just going to cover up some of those red blemishes we're just going to put a tiny little dab on all of those pinker areas really old school and probably not the right way to do this but it's one day day here and day out one feeling and i changed on let the compassion and the empathy perceive are the good gifts we were set to it and then something else i like to do is just a little bit down my nose and that was very we're just going to go in with some blush. I'm just going to use this brush. It was a Ted Baker brush, but I don't think they're numbered. It's just a brush. We're using this tart blusher here in the shade okay. mind you that you've been strengthened not destroyed by all that lays behind you but it's true if you can see yourself on my view sweep a little bit onto my cheek like this and then we're just gonna repeat the same on this side design with great care you will shape it be aware that there are no mistakes here every breath that you love it is sacred make you vessel that actually carries light man start with the light that and sometimes I like to just put a little bit under the nose as well. Next step is we're going to go into the eyeshadow. I am using the Wet and Wild. I think this literally was just called like eyeshadow brush or something. I apologise for the condition of my palette. We're going in with the NYX Lid Lingerie palette. I think I bought it last autumn. I absolutely love the colours in this palette. 
I'm going straight in for this one with my brush and just circling it around, picking up that product. So you've got a nice amount on the brush. I'm going to start in small circles from the very corner of the crease. Circle that round so you see it begin to darken like this and you want to take that all the way around on the crease. darken up that colour with this really lovely burnt orange colour that we've got just here. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in it like this. It is very pigmented so if you use this palette do it lightly. brush you've got a really cool angled brush on the end which is perfect for brows and you've got a nice little spoolie as well so you can brush them through but what I usually do first is I brush through my brows I always like to make sure they're plucked I like them to be relatively shaped so I just go ahead dip my brush into the product okay so I'm not the expert in brows I ever put my brows here so I need to fill in this area just here so I'm going to go ahead Now 
his brows off a little. So to fix them, what I'm going in with is the Tarte Shape Tape. But this one I'm using in the colour Light. Just because I don't want it to be like a highlighter where it's bringing attention to the areas. I just want it to blend into my normal skin a little bit smoother. So, so all I'm going to do, go along gently, create a small line and go over that area that I did. base is some eyelashes. The lashes that I'm going to be using are the Ethics London Eye Love. They are in the Make Flower Girl which is 140. I just bought these from a general like drugstore but I actually these are actually some of my favourite lashes to wear. It spins me around. Basically I don't want these to be a full lash so what I'm going to do is actually cut these down a little bit. Okay, so I've just cut my lash down. I don't know if you can see, but I cut it almost directly in half. So I think we're tacky. From all around, okay, so this one's still kind of drying on my face. But if this is focused, then... You know, if I treat because I do look lovely. holding it like this and stick it from above. Under your skin and the belly fall a fuzzy thing. Okay, so what we're gonna go in next with some mascara just over the top. The animal. For this, I am using the Clinique High Impact Lash Elevating Mascara. the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Like skimming stars on break. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do some highlight. So I'm going to go in with, this is the NYX one, it's from their Contour and Highlight palette. It's called Ice Queen. So I'm just going to go old school, put it on my finger. So a couple of swirls round, and then I'm just going to dab it on top and then go in circles. And I'm going to put some just on my brow bone up here. May the sky hold me cry sometimes. I like to go in on my nose, on the tip of my nose. It's too much to create and too much love to make for me to spend even the moment with hate instead. Let's get freely to all who might be less fortunate than ourselves. So together we are free them from the wicked way and starvation. And us from the sickness of the self preservation. Like, why is so? What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go in with the Vaseline Lip Therapy and it's in the Cocoa Butter flavor. I'm just gonna put that on my lips as a base. This is so we go to the spice because it's. No so to it, it's one day, day For this particular look, I like to just go in with a lip pencil This is the lip pencil I'm going to use As you can see, it's one of my ultimate favourites Because it is tiny and does need to be renewed itself So, this is the Barry M lip pencil um, I can't tell you what colour because I assume it said further up on the pencil And it now it is not. All the products that I have used today will be in the description as well, so if you want to go and have a little look through, um, do definitely do. Okay, so I've just given my pencil a little bit of a sharpening because it was rammed down a little bit, so 
this is what we are working with if you can see that one amazing way to make your lips look full out and bigger is to literally line just the outside of your lip line so i'll do it for myself you can have a little see so i start with my top lip as you can see i'm starting just here which is just above my own lip i'm just gonna draw that in I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all that colour on the lip. Look is finally done. And that is pretty much my makeup look complete. So I'm just gonna get all fluffed up, get a nice little dress on and my hair on, and I'll be back in just a sec. Basically all I did was uh, I ruffled my hair, my hair is naturally curly anyway so I thought that would look pretty cute. I uh, just gave it a good old ruffle. I changed into this adorable little tea dress and then I put bits of baby's breath in my hair because she does the most adorable um, Instagram posts with like different flowers in her hair so I just thought it would be really cute to try and recreate that um, with some baby's breath as you can see. So this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I should be going to see Harmony on the 1st of November. I was super excited. So me and my sister are gonna go down to Cambridgeshire and gonna go see her and get her book signed, um, which is really exciting. She is a queen. Other than that, if you did like the video and this makeup little look inspiration video, please do give us a big thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. Um, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed. Um, do give me a follow on Instagram as that's where I'm most active, so I would love to see your comments and likes there too. That would be really lovely of you. Um, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!